All right, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm going to start this thing over. <clears throat> it's Cool Water with a podcast, another podcast broadcast. I um, was dropping some science on the first one, man, but then you know, I had to push my brother out the house so he could go to you know, where he going in the morning. So I, got, I got to, had to cut it off. So uh, this is going to be part two to Kanye West, Black Magic. And the Gypsy Girls. <clears throat> so this morning I'm looking at the um, Good Morning America. And they've been talking about it all for the last few days. Um, Kanye West, you know, wanted to meet with Donald Trump. And he went to Trump Tower to meet with Trump. And supposedly he <clears throat> discussed social issues, uh, teachers, bullying, Chicago violence, and other, I guess, other cultural issues that involved, um, you know, his concerns or what have you. Um, you know, like I was saying earlier, to me, Kanye playing himself. Now, on the first podcast, we know that Kanye had a situation that involved him so-called, quote-unquote, having a breakdown mentally. And he went on a rant on stage and, you know, Jay-Z, don't send your killers at me, man. Call me. Be a man. Beyonce, I'm disappointed in you. All that. Blah, 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 blah. So after he checked into a hospital, supposedly, you know, is rejuvenated and got his mind back, he goes to meet with Trump. This, to me, is the decoy uh, because this takes you off of the other BS that he just did, the other rant, the other misfit behavior that Kanye has just done. So now we've forgotten about that. And we're now looking at this guy saying that, oh, man, he didn't went over to meet with Trump. Now, me personally, I think it is a kiss ass move. I think Kanye West, who himself is a multi, multi, multi millionaire, you know, he's worth over you know, 30, 40, 50 million dollars don't need to meet with Trump to discuss issues that really affect African Americans. He has enough money and enough pool and resources in his own regard and has enough uh, allies, associates that he can go affect change on his own if he really was about that change. You understand? Um, he could get right into the shot town, man, and make a huge difference in the shot, especially with the school system. Cause he got an influx of cash that so he could run through certain schools that need, you know, certain level of financial assistance. You know, he could go through his politicians in the shot. He could go through his local, you know, his local, local and state government. Um, he could align himself with, you know, uh, uh, you know, political affiliates and, 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 and business leaders right there. And he, even throughout the country, you know what I'm saying? Because we're talking about a world-class artist. Like he ain't no local dude. This dude is known all over the world. So to me, that's a big issue because you going to some white guy to solve black folks problems. And that's really what he went for. He didn't go because he wanted to discuss issues that affect white people. He really looking and concerned about the issues that affect African Americans. And he's still a conscious dude, but he's had to suppress that. And his consciousness uh, has been, had to been suppressed. That's why he was on stage ranting. Cause he really wants to say a lot. Now, if you remember back in Katrina, when he got up there with the other guy and he said, George Bush don't love black people. That was his conscious speaking out because he was vibrating at a certain level. You know what I'm saying? His frequency was higher than some. And he felt the need to say that, you know what I mean? He probably got told, checked on that stuff. Uh, but you know, again, here it is years later, he throws his temper tantrum and he wants to express himself about you know, how the music business is and what it ain't and blah, 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 blah. You feel me? Um, I don't think, I think partly it was a PR campaign, you know, cause we have put this other BS behind us just as quick as we heard about it. It's washed under the rug now because he's standing next to Donald Trump, you know, uh, and, and, and Trump has always been known to, to to play the middle with, with African Americans because a lot of his a lot of his cohorts, a lot of his so-called friends are hip hop, 
entertainers, uh, some pastors, Reverend Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson. You know, these guys uh, have had relationships with Trump throughout the years because he one of the biggest real estate developers in New York. And then they, you know, they some of the biggest pastors, preachers, entertainers uh, like Russell Simmons, you know, on and on, Puffy. So I think Kanye West need to stop ass kissing. I think that was an ass kiss move. But see, again, this is the reasoning behind, in my personal opinion, a need for something like what I'm trying to put together, the African-American Entrepreneur's Holocaust, who killed the black entrepreneur, the historical perspective up to the present. Because once you get the understanding of the game, then you stop going to other ethnicities to kiss ass for a helping hand. You feel me? Uh, you stop looking for people to solve your own problems. You start, start trying to solve your own prop, your, your own problems. And Kanye going to President Trump, it sounds good. You know, oh man, he really want to. But at the end of the day, man, you're going to get with dude to get some shit done that you could do yourself. It don't require you to holler at Trump. You got enough paper in your pocket. You could go do it yourself. You know enough cash that you could go do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? You go see Oprah. She right in the shy. Oprah right there. Your paper, her paper. Y'all can make a difference. You don't need Trump. It's like trying to apply for a job and you asking Donald Trump to come with you on the interview. Man, ain't nobody here trying to hear that. You see what I'm saying? So to me, Kanye, you know, in that regard, as far as Trump, uh, played itself. Now, again, this topic is this title is going to be extended because in part one, I did Kanye West, Black Magic and the Gypsy Girl. OK, well, this would be Kanye West, Black Magic, the Gypsy Girls and Donald Trump, because he's put himself in a position uh, where, you know, he's also not only is he looking silly and got issues with. The folks that you came up with, Beyonce, Jay-Z, now you're going over here, you're trying to hang out with Trump. And ain't nobody in the hip-hop community really fooling with Trump like that. Jay ain't finna go meet with him. You feel what I'm saying? Beyonce ain't finna go meet with him. Ice Cube, like, man, Nick, you know, you know, Ice Cube definitely ain't finna holler at him. You know, I don't see Puffy running over there to go get at him. These dudes could actually get at him. You see what I'm saying? They not finna do it. It's a code of ethics, man, that you have you have when you are a hip hop artist and you reach the heights that these guys have. It's a certain code of ethics you got. It's a certain code you just don't cross. Kanye keep crossing the code and it keep making him look like, man, you know what I'm saying? This dude, like I said in, in other podcasts, you know, little bro, you need to sit down somewhere because you're gonna get yourself hurt. You making too many moves, man. And you ain't got no, you know, your, your, your associates ain't giving you the proper game. You want to be a, 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 an intelligent misfit. And it's making you look like an ass. So now when we start talking about the music industry, and then we get into the black magic part, right? Now, <clears throat> everybody know the music industry is ran by devils. You call it what you want to. Even the gospel artists who be trying to holler like they holy, it, 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 it's ran by devils. They they work for devils too. You see what I'm saying? And everybody knows uh, that a lot of the executives are not quote unquote what they would be called Christian people. Let's just say that. Some of these people are uh shit satanists witches i mean this is the real deal you know some of these folks uh seem cool and they cool you know but they god ain't your god you feel me and 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 when you start talking about kanye and the fact that he doing business with these type people then it, it it only stands to reason that you know somebody might be casting a spell on you. Now we got to take a look at the situation. Talking about what a spell is, you know what I'm saying? Spell or anything that you say out your mouth, man. That you that goes from your mouth into the universe, and 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 the people at large can hear it. So when you rap a song, you know 
depending upon how you rap it, you know, and I'm a victim of it. I mean, I'm not a victim of it. I'm a participant in it. But when you rap a song and you might say something negative about women, okay, blah, 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 blah. Over a extended period of time, it has, a, it has an effect because number one, it's in your self-conscious mind, right? The nineties was known for the conscious era. That's why they call it the golden hip hop, golden era of hip hop. Because what, what, what the nineties did was uplift people's consciousness and, and, and the vibratory frequency. So they became more astute through the music. Like I learned from KRS one about, you know, Moses and, and, and people in the Bible. And, and then you had even NWA, even though they might've been saying some on one hand about some of the chicks, they was flipping and letting you know about the stuff that was going on with the police and, 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 and racial issues and, and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Cube spitting the stuff that he spit on death certificate. Um, you go to, you know, you go to the East Coast public enemy, you know what I'm saying? Fight the power. So those spells were cast and there were good spells. There are things that are, there are bad spells. There's black magic and white magic. Now, some of y'all might be talking about your pay grade. Because you ain't really in tune with what's going on. You just get up in the morning, brush your teeth, take a shit, and you go on to work or whatever you do. And you ain't paying attention to what's going on around you. Most of you don't pay attention to what's going on around you. But the the, the black magic is bad magic. That's what witches cast spells. You feel me? There are people out here, man, that they, 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 they cast spells every day, man, to put you in a position, man, where you are, are, are uh, defunct. Uh, disenfranchised. There are other people out here, man, that try to do white magic to, 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 to do, do good. You see what I'm saying? And what all of it boils down to, it's a certain, it's a certain energy that's coming from that person. If they negative, if they evil, that's what they send out into the universe. If they positive and they spirit and they light is bright, they send that out. So when you start talking about the music industry as a whole, which is ran by you know, a lot of Jews and 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 and, and uh, uh, maybe some other cultures per se. You ain't got none of the African Americans per se. They're not African Americans really running the industry. They're high level, mid grade production companies, executives like a Puff Daddy. You know, Puff Daddy supposedly. You know, I don't know how true it is. He don't own Bad Boy. You know, Clive Davis or Arista or whoever own that. You know, but these dudes have made a substantial amount of money. Master P. You know, he owns his record label, but it's a small imprint compared to a Universal Records, compared to a Columbia Records, compared to a uh, EMI. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. So. The black magic aspect of the music industry is what has all these little youngsters out here running around with their pants down. All these little youngsters out here talking about bitches and hoes. All these little youngsters out here not having enough intelligence to separate the fantasy from the reality. Trying to live a life that doesn't exist. Now, there was a rock and roll artist some time ago. No, I'm sorry. Uh, a rock and roll um, music industry insider, and uh, John Todd, I believe, was his name. And John Todd met with some of the executives a while back, you know, before his demise. And he was making a comment. He said, "Man, do you all still do witchcraft over the the uh, the, the reels before you send them out?" And the dude was like, "Yeah." We, 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 we still do the witchcraft before we send it out because they, 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 they practicing black magic. They doing their spells on the music. So that it impacts and affects you in a certain way. Now this rock and roll hip hop ain't no different. You see what I'm saying? Rap ain't no different. You know, why you think gospel music ain't, ain't, ain't the premier music out here? Cause that's uplifting. They talking about Jesus Christ. They talking about trying to get right. Well, they ain't finna have that out here because that's a, you casting a positive spell. These 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 folks is about that 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 you know negativity, uh, or 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 the killer, uh, you know, killing of your soul, your spirit, so to speak. So, uh, John Todd, you know, was saying okay, and as he was doing this, you know. He he began to expose the industry. Well, naturally, at some point in time, I think they killed him. You know what I'm saying? So the black magic aspect of the whole game is 
is literally <clears throat> understanding that Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Somebody working on Kanye. Kanye's being worked on. Kanye's being Kanye's being handled with the, the 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 black dark side of the music industry. He's he's being you know uh, handled and controlled by by individuals, man that that don't have the best interest of the public at large. Let's just say that you know what I mean. So that's one of the reasons why he had a mental breakdown or a uh, through a temper tantrum. You feel me? Uh, and it 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 and it's weighing on his spirit, it's weighing on his soul because he, you know, his light is shining bright. You know, he 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 a righteous brother in his own right, but he he working with some devils. And when you work with some devils, it's hard to be righteous. You feel me? So then you move on to the other side of the spectrum when you start talking about the gypsy girls. Okay, well, he's married to Kim Kardashian now. Everybody knows that Kim Kardashian is fooled with, man. It's been something, or her whole family, man, her mama and her sisters, supposedly and allegedly, because I haven't done the homework. Well, I've done some. Through watching some things, through to some of these guys, man, who are exceptional video, uh, for, you know, uh, photographers and putting together these videos, they're a group of witches. Which means they got, and they work towards casting spells that may not be in the best interest of individuals outside of their clan. You know, uh they're 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 cold, so to speak. So Kanye is married to Kim and they, you know, and 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 her sister Chloe and 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 all the rest of the Kardashians, man. And and you know the the brothers that have messed with him ain't really came out too good. You know what I'm saying? Uh Lamar Odom, you know, he 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 damn near on the deathbed. You know, he came, he didn't bounce back, but he ain't been right, I don't think, ever since. Um Look at uh Bruce Bruce Jenner. You know, Bruce Jenner, you know, uh, alpha male. Now he running around talking about he a female. He was he, he stayed up under their camp for a long time. Married to their mama, Chris Jenner. You see what I'm saying? So the gypsy part of it is 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 the is the the floating rotation of Somebody like Kim Kardashian being married to the NBA player, not staying long with him. Ray J set her out, put her on a videotape, put the pussy out there for the world to see. You know what I'm saying? She lead Ray J. Go get with go get with uh, Reggie Bush. Go from Reggie Bush to this NBA dude. Don't stay with the NBA dude when the contracts in the NBA go on strike for too long because he ain't papered up. She ain't really in love with him. No way. Move on from there, man. Uh, and then I think she ended up with Kanye. You see what I'm saying? So it's the rotation of, of these dudes, man. And then on top of that, you know, these bras might be, they might be witches. You know what I'm saying? If if, if you, if you ever look at the movie, uh, when it come out, it's coming out in 2070 Underworld. You know, the, the, the Vampire Wolf movie. Pay attention, pay attention to the witches in the coven. They tell you what be going on, man. Pay attention to all these movies because these folks ain't making these movies for pure entertainment, man. They actually be giving you some game. I just seen Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange was metaphysical, man, and talking about the chakras, talking about the ego. And they did it in such an awesome fashion, man, that if you didn't walk out of there enlightened, there was something wrong with you. You feel me? The movie Assassin's Creed coming out. They talking about the Spanish Inquisition. But the Spanish Inquisition was was a period during which uh, uh, Spain conquered the Moors when the Moors went up into Spain and they fought um, uh, up in Spain and then the, uh, uh, the queen of uh, the Pope and, 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 and whatnot. I, I got to get all my story together, conquered all the Moors empire, their wealth, and they burned all the books. They separated the Moors from the knowledge. So nobody else would have this, 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 uh, this wisdom, this knowledge. You understand? They burned all the books. So that's what the Spanish Inquisition was about. Well, the Assassin's Creed deals with that, but from an entertainment standpoint, and then they mix it up with some other stuff. But if you don't know anything about the Spanish Inquisition, you're just thinking, well, you know, this is something to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just something to look at. No, man, these movies are for real. The Planet of the Apes, you know, Charles Darwin. That's the Charles Darwin theory. You got you to gotta study Charles Darwin. You feel me? So the gypsy girls been out here holding on to these dudes. They've been getting these dudes and these dudes been coming up short from fooling with the gypsy girls. Kanye West ain't no exception. He married to Kim. They got two kids together, but Kanye keep running. You know, he keep falling on his face. 
keep having these issues. And then he involved in the industry, man, where they ain't practicing white magic. They doing black magic. It's the real deal, man. We just got to talk about the real deal. It's happening every day. So then he went over there and you know what I'm saying? And he kissing Trump's ass to, you know, call himself trying to be some political figure that wants to be engaged, but you really playing yourself, man, because you don't need Trump. What you need to do is hook up with your people that look like you and start building. That's really what's going on. So I'm going to shut this down um, because it is it is uh, an issue into itself. But what I want you to do is uh, take a look at the video, Demons Behind the Music Industry X, uh, Illuminous Explains. Then take a look at uh, Most Def got a song called The Rape Over. And I told you about that on the first one. Listen to that one. You feel me? And, and 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 begin to pay attention to what's going on, you know, and start to understand how this thing is really being put together, man, and what you're working against, because it's more than just what you see with the eye, as they say in the scripture. You know, it's 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 a uh, it's a it's a war for war uh, against uh, uh, spiritual wickedness and principalities in high places. You know, what I'm saying these people, you know. Everybody want to be rich. I want to be rich, too. But it's deeper than that. The money is is way beyond that because their money has no value. People out here for your soul. They want your soul. They want to control your spirit. They want to control your mind. You know, so while you run around here and you buying, you know, what I'm saying brand new Audis and, 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 you know, trying to get the Bugattis and all that stuff, all that stuff, man, that. That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? When you get it, you're going to find out it ain't, it ain't it ain't no different than riding in a Hyundai. You know, it got some pretty lights and the technology and stuff. You know, you go out here and get you a, a, a Tesla. But once you get past that emotional connection to the to the material possession and you saw, man, this car, man, it's cool, man. But, you know, it's just like the last one I had. OK, man, it, it all cars ride on four wheels. Some just look better than other ones and their performance is better. Don't get me wrong. We all want nice things. But. When you start moving up the ladder and you start understanding how the world is put together, man, it's way, way, way more deeper than some money. It's a spiritual war going on out here. And until you all understand that, you just living in the matrix, man. Hey, man, I'm out. It's cool water. Keep up with me. You know what I'm saying? Got the blog. Is hip hop dead? Uh, eventually that'll be revamped and renewed. I still got to take care of uh, my home site, coolwater101.com, but drive by there and look around for a while. second. Uh, please subscribe to the podcast because I'm dropping them, you know, uh, picking up new subscribers daily. So that's coming along fairly good. Get at me on Facebook, coolwater101. You know, look for me on Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Google+, Plus. you know, Get at me, you know what I'm saying? And let's build. Hey, man, peace and stay blessed. I'm out. Holla.